Hi there guys, how are you going? First of all, sorry for my English. Uh, it's a little bit hard to do videos in English. It's not my first language. I'm a Brazilian, so I speak Portuguese. But uh, anyway, I'm a software developer. I work with .NET Core and Angular. And on this video, I will show you a open project that I have on my GitHub called App Full Stack Demo. I will show you how to download this project and how to configure it and make it run, okay? So first of all, I will show you how to configure your environment, your machine. I will not go too deeper, but anyway, I have a doc samples repository on my GitHub and inside it I have a general docs folder that basically I use it when I need to format my machine or something like that and I need to reconfigure my environment so for example on Angular I have the command to install Angular on React Native I have the commands that I need to run to configure my uh, environment variables inside the bash or inside the environment my path to the JDK of Java and how to install the React Native so in .NET Core I have the commands to install the .NET Core you can get it on the Microsoft official website but anyway don't forget to install the .NET Entity Framework tools and inside VS Code I have my config for the Visual Studio Code so basically I have two fonts that you can put inside fonts on Windows or use the font manager on Linux to install it I have my settings.json you can copy this configuration inside your Visual Studio Code and I have my extensions here if you want to install it your Visual Studio Code will look like mine so okay and now let's go to the project so first I have an empty folder downloads and I'm gonna clean the repository so git clone here it is uh, I will do no cuts on this video so basically it will run and run no problem sometimes we will have to wait for some operations like this but yes my machine is not very uh, is a little bit slow because I'm recording the screen and I'm also running the Android emulator because I want to show you the React Native app instead of have a real device on my hands because here you can see everything so okay uh, let's enter on the folder and let's enter on source uh, I'm gonna open new terminals here that we'll use in some minutes but okay first of all we will open the code right uh, inside the project we need to set up the connection string for the database that is episettings.json so here you have the connection string uh, this is for my machine so probably yours is different the password uh, if you don't use password you can set it for false and remove or you can copy from another project and change the database name uh, it's important to set it because it needs the database and okay uh, the second step that we need to do is the migration so I don't have the database here okay so I will create it so let's enter on backend and do a .NET restore okay now I'm gonna enter on the infra that belongs to my database and here I will run the command to run the migration so this command will basically create the database uh, I'm sorry also for my accent I know it's different but yes <laughs> Ok, 
okay now I have my database here but in this moment it's empty so I don't have any data here okay uh, let's run inside the front end project the npm install to restore the packages and okay now we have to go into the API folder but first of all uh, we can run the app this way no problem but I don't have any information on the database and I have a test that I made that I can fill the database with some mock data with some fake data uh, this test is here so I will run it because I want to create the first user and some fake devices, some fake manufacturers uh, you don't need to do it if you don't want you can create everything in your database but for uh, to be faster and to show you uh, let's use so now we run it and if I go back to Azure and run I will have some equipments now okay I have some devices here so perfect uh, let's run the API so dotnet run perfect it's running here uh, let's test inside insomnia so basically I will uh, do a post to my IP address uh, you can use localhost instead and the endpoint is user v1 login okay so if I do a send I will reach this endpoint that to the login on the application and I will receive the token uh, it's running so that it means that my app is running it's perfect and now I can use the Angular part and the React native part uh, my backend is working perfectly so let's go to the Angular part okay let's do a ng server dash dash o this will compile my Angular application uh, the first time we do it uh, generally take more time so let's wait a little bit I'm gonna show you some things about the React Native project uh, that is a little bit harder to run if you don't configure it right so first of all we need to set here inside the API the IP address of your machine in my case this is my IP address here so you can check it with efconfig right you have it here so you can put on your file and you need to set up inside Android local properties the address for your SDK because if not it will not compile the React Native project so basically this is the config that you need to run the React Native parts and uh, let's wait a little bit to the angular project to the panel okay it will open on my default browser that is Firefox uh, while I show you let make the react native install the packages the npm install the packages I'm sorry I need to enter a mobile folder and now okay perfect uh, in meanwhile let's show you the panel admin admin and here I have the panel it's working with my backend this is the angular part here I have the fake dot that we do in some minutes ago Xiaomi Samsung Motorola and LG this is my devices and I have four Android 8.1, two Android 8, 7.1, and one Android 9. Uh, here on users, I have my admin user. Okay, here on this blue button, we have the devices that we created, the fake devices. Right? 
And here we have the group, so manufacturers, for example, Xiaomi, I can edit on this button or also create new manufacturers. And on the device model we have the, for example, Mi Max 2, Mi Max 2, sorry. We can edit it, Mi Max 2, 2. And it's working. I can create new users here, but I will not. I will do it on the first page, so let's log out and let's create, register a new user I will call it with my name Fernando Passaia here my email I will use the same password of my database it's an open password that I put on all projects, no problem uh, the user is created, now I will go back to login and use it and ok uh, I want you to pay attention here that we don't have a Google device and I will log in on this emulator and we have to create, it have to create the Google device here and I will log in with this Fernando account so it have to be linked to the Fernando user, right? And ok, here I will run React Native Run Android to run the application on Android. Perfect. Uh, if you are a React Native developer, you can open another terminal and run npm start or React Native log Android to see the logins and everything. But in this case, because it's just a demo, I will just run the application and log in into it to show how it works. almost there okay it's running run it again it's normal on react native live uh, let's check on Fernando there is no device here so no data and okay Now it's perfect, I don't know what happens with React, but okay. Fernando, and the same password that I use to create the user. Uh, okay, let's allow the app to get the phone number. And here it is. Uh, my equip ID, I don't have it, so basically it's not on the panel right now, but I will click here. So I have some information about the device and when I click on register device it will be posted to the back end and then registered on the panel. So basically now it's working. I have registered it. If I go back to the Angular and refresh this page here we are we have the device to this user, right? So go back to the dashboard and now we have Google. We have a device from Google. Yeah, basically that's it. If you like this project, please follow me on the GitHub. If you like it really much, give me a star. I will be very happy. If you want to cooperate with me to develop and increase this application, please do it. Uh, feel free to use it the way you want. If you want to use as a base for your system or to study it, uh, feel free to do it. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for everything and see you next time. See ya.